navigating the vast amount of information about cancer can be daunting, and unfortunately, myths and misconceptions about this complex disease are all too common. In this video, we will clarify the facts and dispel misinformation. We'll tackle six of the most shocking cancer myths, debunking them with facts to provide you with a clearer picture of what cancer is and how it can be managed. Now let's begin our countdown of these commonly held myths and uncover the truths that science reveals. Kicking off our countdown at number six is a popular myth that often captures the imagination of health enthusiasts, the belief that superfoods can prevent cancer. It's easy to see why this idea is so appealing. Who wouldn't want a simple natural solution to such a complex health issue, right? However, while the term superfood is catchy and often used in marketing, it's important to understand what science actually says about these foods and cancer prevention. The truth is, while maintaining a healthy diet is crucial for overall health, no single food or superfood can provide a magic bullet for cancer prevention. Foods typically labeled as superfoods like blueberries, kale, and turmeric are indeed rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which are essential for maintaining good health and supporting the body's natural defenses. These nutrients can help reduce the risk of many diseases, including some types of cancer, by combating oxidative stress and inflammation, two key players in cancer development. However, scientific research suggests that the best approach to cancer prevention through diet is not reliant on any single food, no matter how super it may be. A study published in the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health found that a diet incorporating a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, while limiting processed meats, was associated with a reduced risk of certain types of cancer. This reflects a broad dietary pattern rather than the effects of individual superfoods. A balanced diet that includes a wide range of nutrients from different food sources is more beneficial and practical than focusing on individual superfoods. This dietary approach ensures you get an array of antioxidants and other nutrients that work together to support overall health. It's also important to integrate other healthy lifestyle habits, such as regular physical activity, maintaining a healthy weight, and avoiding tobacco and excessive alcohol consumption, which all contribute significantly to cancer prevention. So, while including superfoods in your diet can be part of a healthy eating plan, they should not be viewed as a standalone solution for cancer prevention. Emphasizing a varied and balanced diet along with a healthy lifestyle is the most effective strategy recommended by health professionals to reduce cancer risk and promote overall health. Moving to number five on our list is a myth that might sound a bit alarming at first. The idea that cancer is contagious. It's a common misconception that can cause unnecessary fear and misunderstanding about how cancer actually spreads. The truth is, you cannot catch cancer from someone else like you would a cold or the flu. Cancer is a complex group of diseases that can be triggered by genetic factors, lifestyle choices, environmental exposures, and in some cases, through viruses, but it cannot be transmitted through casual contact or by being near someone with cancer. The confusion often stems from the fact that certain viruses can lead to cancer. For example, the human papillomavirus, HPV, can cause cervical cancer, among other cancers, and hepatitis B and C can lead to liver cancer. These viruses can indeed be contagious and can be transmitted from one person to another, typically through sexual contact or blood-to-blood -blood contact. However, it's the virus that's contagious, not the cancer itself. Research and medical consensus clarify that while you can catch a virus that might lead to cancer, the cancerous cells themselves are not spread from person to person. Understanding this is crucial in preventing the stigma associated with the disease and in promoting accurate knowledge about cancer transmission. So, while it's important to protect yourself against viruses that can lead to cancer by getting vaccinated, such as the HPV vaccine, and taking other preventive measures, there is no need to worry about catching cancer itself from someone else. This distinction helps us focus on effective cancer prevention and treatment strategies without the burden of unfounded fears. Holding the fourth spot on our list is a myth that resonates with the tech-driven world of today. The belief that mobile phones cause cancer. 
This concern has been fueled by the widespread use of radio frequency radiation that mobile phones emit. However, after extensive research and scrutiny, the consensus in the scientific community is reassuring. The truth is, high-quality research, including comprehensive studies by respected organizations like the World Health Organization and the American Cancer Society, has found no conclusive evidence that mobile phone use increases the risk of cancer. The primary concern involves the type of radiation emitted by mobile phones, which is non-ionizing radio frequency radiation. This type of radiation lacks the energy required to damage DNA directly, which is a key factor in cancer development. Studies have specifically looked at the frequencies and intensities of RF radiation from mobile phones to assess potential health risks. The levels emitted by mobile phones are very low, much lower than other types of radiation like X-rays or UV light, which can break the chemical bonds in DNA. Furthermore, Ongoing advancements in technology have led to newer phones emitting even lower levels of radiation than those studied in the past. So, while it's natural to be cautious about new technologies, the fears that mobile phones might cause cancer are not supported by current scientific evidence. The radiation emitted by mobile phones is not sufficient to cause cellular damage typically associated with cancer. However, ongoing research continues to monitor long-term use and effects ensuring that safety standards are based on the latest science. At number three, we tackle a particularly distressing myth, the belief that cancer always comes back. This misconception can cause unnecessary anxiety for patients and their families, overshadowing the progress made in treatment and recovery. The truth is more nuanced and hopeful. While cancer can recur, it is not a certainty for every patient the likelihood of cancer returning is influenced by several factors, including the type of cancer, the stage at which it was initially diagnosed, how effectively it was treated, and individual health considerations like genetics and lifestyle. Each type of cancer has different patterns of recurrence, and with advancements in medical science, treatments have become increasingly targeted and effective. For example, some cancers, such as certain types of breast cancer, have well-established protocols that significantly reduce the risk of recurrence. Meanwhile, ongoing monitoring and follow-up care after initial treatment help catch any signs of recurrence early, improving the chances of successful retreatment. It's important to note that medical advancements over the past few decades have dramatically improved survival rates and reduced recurrence rates for many types of cancer. Innovations in surgical techniques, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, and immunotherapy have all contributed to these improvements. And while the fear of cancer recurrence is understandable, it's crucial to recognize that many survivors go on to live long and healthy lives without their cancer returning. Take it from me, I am not only a survivor who triumphed over stage 4 cancer, but I have also pursued training to become a health coach. This journey has empowered me to dedicate my life to guiding others towards healthier lifestyles and wellness, transforming my own experiences into positive action. Having been in remission for years, my journey has inspired me to help others achieve their health goals and find their path to wellness. Stories like mine underscore the potential for life beyond cancer, filled with hope and strength. Also, Continuing advancements in medical research and treatment strategies continue to improve these outcomes. For those in remission, regular follow-ups and a healthy lifestyle are the best strategies for staying well. Landing at number two in our countdown is a myth that can significantly impact decision-making for those facing a cancer diagnosis. The belief that cancer treatment is always worse than the disease. This myth can cause undue fear and hesitation potentially deterring patients from seeking or continuing necessary treatment. The truth is that while cancer treatments like chemotherapy and radiation can have severe side effects, these therapies are vital for eradicating cancer cells and saving lives. The perception that treatment is invariably harsh and unbearable is outdated. Advances in medical science have greatly improved how cancer is treated, with a strong emphasis on minimizing side effects and enhancing patient comfort. Precision medicine and targeted therapies are at the forefront of these advancements. 
These approaches tailor treatment based on individual genetic profiles or specific characteristics of cancer cells, which helps to maximize the effectiveness of the therapy while minimizing damage to healthy cells. This specificity reduces the severity and incidence of side effects compared to traditional treatments that indiscriminately affect rapidly dividing cells. Furthermore, the development of new drugs and treatment modalities continues to improve the quality of life for patients during treatment. For example, immunotherapy, a type of treatment that boosts the body's natural defenses to fight cancer, has provided new treatment avenues with potentially fewer side effects than conventional chemotherapy. And that's why the notion that cancer treatment is worse than the disease does not hold up under modern medical scrutiny. While managing side effects is still a crucial aspect of cancer care, the benefits of receiving treatment far outweigh the potential negatives. Patients are encouraged to discuss all available treatment options with their healthcare providers to make informed decisions that reflect the latest advancements in oncology. At the top of our list, we confront a myth that often causes significant anxiety for individuals with a family history of cancer. The belief that inheriting such a history is a definite precursor to developing the disease. This myth can lead to unnecessary stress and fatalistic attitudes towards health, which are neither helpful nor scientifically accurate. The truth is more reassuring. While having a family history of cancer does indeed increase your risk, it does not doom you to the same fate. Genetics do play a role in the development of certain cancers, including those of the breast, ovary, and colon. However, inheriting a risk is not the same as inheriting a certainty. Many individuals with a genetic predisposition never develop cancer. It's important to recognize that cancer is a complex disease influenced by a combination of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. Factors such as smoking, diet, physical activity, and exposure to carcinogens can significantly impact one's risk of developing cancer, irrespective of genetic background. So for those with a known family history, genetic testing can be a valuable tool. It can identify specific inherited mutations that might increase cancer risk, such as BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene mutations in breast and ovarian cancer. Knowing one's genetic status can guide decisions about preventive measures which might include more frequent screenings, lifestyle adjustments, or even preventive surgeries in high-risk individuals. Regular screenings, such as mammograms for breast cancer and colonoscopies for colon cancer, are crucial. They can detect cancer early, when it is most treatable, significantly improving outcomes. These proactive steps allow individuals with a family history of cancer to manage their risks actively, often with highly effective results. So, while a family history of cancer is undoubtedly a significant concern, it is not a predetermined outcome. By understanding the interplay of genetics with other factors and taking advantage of modern medical interventions, you can effectively manage their risk and maintain control over your health. And there you have it, our countdown of the six shocking cancer myths busted by science. Understanding the facts is vital for making informed decisions about cancer prevention, treatment, and general awareness. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Knowledge is a powerful tool in the fight against cancer, and staying informed is key to managing health effectively. Please don't forget to share a tip or two in the comments below. And if you learned from today's video, please consider sending us a super thanks. And remember, when it comes to health information, it is always important to seek advice from your doctor and other health professionals. Thank you for watching and have a happy and healthy day.